Welcome back to Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tolkoff, and in this video, we're going to be discussing the convergence test. The convergence test is one of the special tests that's used in the oculomotor exam, and it's specific for a central vestibular deficit, and normally it directly follows the smooth pursuit test. To perform the convergence test, the patient's going to be positioned and sitting, and a small target, such as the tip of a pen, as we've talked about in some of the previous videos, is slowly moved towards the tip of the patient's nose. And the patient is instructed to maintain their gaze on this target without moving their head. Now, obviously, as a target gets closer and closer to your nose, you're kind of going to be forced to go cross-eyed to maintain your gaze on it, okay? You want to instruct the patient to make sure that they understand that. Now, the target is continually being brought towards the patient's nose until either one of two things happens. Number one, or A, the target doubles. So at some point, as that target's getting closer and closer to the patient's nose, they're not gonna be able to converge their eyes anymore and the target's going to double, okay? And also, B, the near point of convergence or NPC is reached. So really, the point at which you can't converge anymore, that is the near point of convergence. And what actually happens is you have the patient's eyes, they're coming closer and closer together like this, trying to maintain their focus on the object. And then what'll happen is, and it's very subtle, takes a lot of practice to see, one of the eyes will kind of go out. Okay, see that? One of the eyes will kind of go out. Could be the other eye, they'll go out. And it's very easy to miss that. Um, I don't actually catch it every single time. So that's why you want to make sure that the patient knows they should indicate when the target doubles, when they can no longer keep it in focus, and then you measure that distance. Now what some therapists will do is they'll actually reverse this. So from this point here, they'll slowly bring the target back out to make sure that the person's eyes can actually refocus on the target, although that part is not as important. The big thing here is getting that distance where either you have the near point of convergence or where the target doubles, which is an approximation of the near point of convergence. So let's take a look at this right here. So I am going to slowly bring that pen closer and closer to her, and you should see that if the eyes are coming closer and closer together, they are converging. and then I'm gonna bring it back out. Let's take a look at that one more time. So I'm bringing the pen closer and closer in, and I believe it's actually her left eye that does that thing where it comes out. Now the near point of convergence in general is difficult to see. It's even harder to see in this video clip. It's much better if you can do it in person and see the person's eyes direct on. But if you look at her left eye, I'm going to move it very slowly, you can actually see the left eye abduct a little bit, and that is the point where you have this. Very carefully there, her left eye abducts a little bit. Very subtle, very hard to see, but that is the near point of convergence. And just a split second before is when she reported that it blurred. And so that's why we use that blurring as an indirect indicator of that near point of convergence, which is right there. And that's the point where I would measure the distance from tip of that target and right between her eyes. So this distance between the eyes and the target, that near point of convergence, if that is less than six centimeters, that is considered normal. When that near point of convergence is greater than six centimeters, that is an abnormal finding, and that particular finding is very specific for a central vestibular deficit. Um, and you can be pretty confident that that's what you're dealing with. Now, of course, you wanna line that up with your other findings, so maybe saccadic intrusions were found in your smooth pursuit test, uh, but you can be more confident with this finding. Now, you could also have a situation where the near point of convergence is less than six centimeters, uh, but there happens to be reproduction of dizziness and related symptoms like nausea, headache, lightheadedness, etc. These are definitely abnormal. A person with a healthy vestibular system and no dizziness should not be symptomatic on a convergence test. So these are certainly abnormal, but they're not as specific for the central deficit, not like a near point of convergence greater than six centimeters. So if they don't have this, but they do get reproduction of symptoms, it could be central, 
but you definitely need to align that finding with the results of your entire oculomotor exam, integrate all the issues before you come to a diagnosis. So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of the convergence test. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button for all notifications for videos in the future. Thank you so much.